over very briefly is a new product that's out and being used very frequently by many people is called CBD oil. So what I want to verify with you and go over is that that is not psychoactive, which means it doesn't change the way that you think. But here's the main difference. You have the cannabis group of plants. So there's two plants. You have the hemp plant and you have the marijuana plant. The marijuana plant has a lot of THC in it. If you look at the percentage, it is greater than 10% marijuana THC psychoactive. The hemp plant has less than 1% THC in it. So what it doesn't have in THC, it makes up for in CBD oil. So here's the hemp plant. This is high in CBD oil, low in THC. This is low in CBD oil and high in THC. So something kind of interesting between CBD and THC is their chemical structure. Okay, this is a little bit of science chemistry, but it is related. These are called isomers because they have the same atoms, but just rearranged differently. Like this one has one chlorine and it's on the first carbon, whereas this one has one chlorine and it's on the middle carbon. So they have the same molecule, um, sorry, same atoms, just different configuration. Well, the same is true with CBD and THC. They are basically in the same family. They have a lot of the same features, just one doesn't make you high and the other one, THC makes you high, but the other one does not. So here is the difference, THC and CBD. You see C21, 21 carbons, 30 hydrogens, and two oxygens. So it's crazy how just the different arrangement of the atoms can lead to such a different experience inside of a user's body. So I'll finish with this informational video. With all the weed trucks and imagery all over New York these days, you might think to yourself, hey, is marijuana legal now? Not quite. What these companies are selling is actually something called CBD. It's found in everything from lollipops to lattes, and business is booming. CBD products are part of what is estimated to be a roughly $1 billion industry in the United States, and it's perfectly legal. So what does CBD have that marijuana doesn't? The fact of the matter is we're kind of in the midst of the CBD craze right now. Martin Lee is the director of Project CBD, an educational platform that focuses on cannabis science and therapeutics. CBD stands for cannabidiol. That's a component of the cannabis plant um, that has significant therapeutic properties, but it's not intoxicating. It doesn't get you high like a THC. As it happens, not all cannabis plants are created equal. Take a look at these two varieties. One is marijuana, the other is hemp. One gets you high, the other doesn't. The key difference is what's on the inside. THC and CBD are the main components of the cannabis plant. THC is what makes you feel high, and marijuana plants are loaded with it. I don't know about y'all, but I can't eat no. Hemp, on the other hand, has hardly any THC at all. But what it lacks in THC, it makes up for with higher amounts of CBD. Now, CBD won't get you high, but it does have a redeeming quality. It's legal. And at least according to the marketing, it has a relaxing effect. So since this stuff is all the rage, let's see how it's made. So once you have a cannabis plant, one simple way to make extract can be done in your own kitchen. As simple as using olive oil or butter and, and, and heating the trim from the plant or a little bit of the green material from the plant. Obviously, that's not very useful for mass industrial production to, to be uh, cooking up something in your kitchen with butter and cannabis. But the more common way involves a specialized, complex machine. One very widespread way is using what's called a supercritical CO2 extraction. It's ground up to be to have the texture initially of like a coffee grind, and it's it's, it's poured into vessels, literally, of a, a supercritical CO2 machine. It will stay in that machine for upwards to 24 hours under different pressures and temperatures at, at different times of the um, extraction process, um, and ultimately you'll end up with a, a, a thick golden oil that's very waxy in texture. You can also extract it using ethanol and hydrocarbons. You can find this oil in a number of different products these days. It can be administered in various different forms. Uh, it might be ingested, it might be applied topically. They even have CBD oil products for your pets. I stopped by a cafe in New York which sells all sorts of CBD infused products. I tried a CBD matcha latte and a CBD macaron. These snacks tasted great and I felt a little more relaxed after, but it was hard to tell if the CBD was actually doing anything for me. 
or if it was all in my head. Scientists are actually still trying to figure out exactly how CBD affects the body. So there really is a scientific basis for understanding why CBD can work, but we're still really a long way of, of mastering the house. Still, CBD may have more benefits than just a relaxing afternoon. Some initial studies have shown that CBD can help with a number of different medical conditions. In fact, in June 2018, the FDA approved the first CBD drug, Epidiolex, which is used to treat epilepsy. So who knows? Perhaps we'll be seeing CBD in more places than just cannabis-decorated vans in the future.